Okay, Yofi Baruch Hashem. Today is a very, very special day. Today is Zot Chanukah. Today is the eighth day of Chanukah. Yeah, and Zot Yavah Aron Al Hakodesh. It's the last day of Chanukah. It's a very holy day, very powerful day. The the tzaddikim used to say that uh, that today is a uh, is like the the Chatima, the sign up, the last final sign up of, from Yom Kippur. And breast of the minhag was is is to sing uh, uh, Yom Kippur songs today, last night, and today. And uh, also, uh, just to remind everyone that we're not going to light the menorah anymore this year, only next year. So don't forget that if you have any wicks left, if you lit with oil and you have wicks, the minag is to burn the wicks with all the oil that's left over in the cups. You take and you burn them, okay? So today, that's what you do tonight if you want, or from now, from tonight, and you burn it to Hashem. It's a very powerful day, uh, the eighth day of Hanukkah. Bezot Tivasha, and this this Hashem and this Hanukkah, from this day I will be only the redemption will now start glowing more and more like the beginning of the month now the light of the moon is starting to to grow more and more so also our neshamas are starting to grow and then uh, inflamed Hashem Hashem will enlighten our souls so we're learning Alachot we learn the laws of Kriyat Shema we're in Siman Nun Tet Seif Gimel chapter fifty nine. Part three. We know that and during the day, during the Tfilah of Shacharit, during the Shacharit, we have three times we have Kedusha. What's Kedusha? Kedusha is when we say, in the prayer we say, Kadosh, 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 Hashem Tzvaot, Melokar Tzvodo, and we say, Baruch Kvod Hashem Yimkomo. When do we say that? We say that in the, the first bracha of Kirat Shema. We say it in Chazarat Hashatz. And we say it in Ubal Etzion after Shemona Esre. Every day we say it. Okay? Every day we say it in the morning. Yeah. So now, the one of Chazarat Hashatz, we spoke about before and we'll, spoke about it, we'll speak about it later too. The one of Chazarat Hashatz is, uh, is the one that we're saying and the angels are saying it with us. Yeah, so you have to stand like the angels with your feet together, and you can't talk at all in, in the middle, and you have to say it. There's only very few places where you're not allowed to say it. If you're in the middle of Shmon Esre, you, you just wait silently, you just listen to the Chazan. And if you're in the middle of putting on Tefillin, and you put on Tefillin Shel Yad, and you're before putting on Tefillin Shel Rosh, also you can't say it. You just wait, you just listen to the Chazan, and afterwards you continue putting on. Just a good advice, if you're going to put on tefillin, wait for a second, listen if the chazan is getting up to Gdusha, answer Gdusha, and then put on a tefillin. That's all about, that's regarding Gdusha of Chazarat Hashatz, so the repetition of the chazan. Yeah? That, that's the laws then. then. But the Gdusha of Yotzer Or, that we're talking about now, or the Gdusha of Gdusha de Sidra, it's called, the Gdusha after Shmon Esre, by Uvar Etzion. It's different. Over there, we're just saying a story that all the angels, they're saying Kadosh, Kadosh, Kadosh. So we're not really saying it and the angels are saying it with us. But we're still, after all, we are saying Kadosh, Kadosh, Kadosh. But since it's different a little bit than the Gdusha of Valetzion, of, uh, of Shmon Esra, of Chazad Hashatz, therefore there's different halachas too. So what's the halacha over here? The halacha is that even when you're alone, you could say it as opposed to the Gdusha of Chazarat Hashatz, you cannot say it alone. Only when there's 10 men, 10 Jewish men over 13, that's the only time you can say that Tusha. But the Tusha of Yotzer, Tusha of Yotzer, and Tusha of Valetzion, we say it, we say it even when you're alone. But there are post who say that you should not say it say when you're alone. There are post who say that, you should not say it when you're alone. But the minhag is to say it when you're alone. So how should you say it when you're, when you're alone? You should say, if you know the trap, so try to say it with the trap. Kadosh, Kadosh, Okay, so if you know. If not, anyways, you could say it even when you're alone, even if there's no minyan, there's no. If the chazan is up to Kedusha, and you're not up to that Kedusha, talking about the Kedusha of Yotzer and Obad Etzion, you don't have to answer. Uvar you could answer. It depends where you are. If you're just in Asher, why not answer? You'll have to answer then. But if you're in the middle of Berchot Yotzer O, and the Chazan, 
he was flying through, and you're saying the words normally, and he's up to Kadosh Kadosh, you don't have to say with him Kadosh Kadosh Kadosh. You could wait until you're up to there, and then you'll say it, and it's fine. As halachavi, it's fine, it's 100%. Yeah, the Yofi, very good. The Minag is, the Rama says, and I saw also the Sfaradim, that's how they do, the Kadosh, 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 we say out loud. The Chazan says, um, he, he gets up to the Kadosh, 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 right? before that, no, that's the Kedusha of the Sidra, talking about the Kedusha of Yotzer. Whatever, you get up to Kadosh, 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 and everyone says out loud together, Kadosh, 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 and Baruch Kvod Hashem in Kamo. Okay? Everyone says that out loud. That's the minag. In every shul that you go, you'll see that they say it out. Uh, okay. Right. Very good. Very good. Yafemod. Now, the minag is also, according to the Shulchan Aruch, yeah, and of course, also according to, and also according to the Rama, when we say, the Chazan says, Baruch Atah Hashem Yotzer HaMeorot, Everyone answers, Amen. Also by Ma'ariv Aravim, everyone answers, Amen. So finish before the Chazan, if you're able to, and then answer Amen. Even if you're not able to, some person can say, there's a machloket, if you should answer the Amen. And my say you could answer Amen also then. But I saw that, I don't know, I didn't see the halacha, but I know the Minag by the Sephardim that they don't answer Amen over there. It's not like the Shulchan Aruch. Maybe the Yishchai, I don't know who. But it's not like the Shulchan Aruch, but the Shulchan Aruch, he writes explicitly, okay? Uh, sorry, the does not say if they answer Amen or not. He just says that they say it together with the Chazan, the Nachat, slowly. The Rama asks yeah, that we answer Amen. But the Sephardim, I would have in many times, the Sephardim, I would have in many times, and they don't answer Amen and Berchot Yav Yotzer O and Ma'ariv Aravim at all. They don't answer Amen over there. Okay. Now, but the Shukhanah does add, and he says that by Abu Kher, by Mo Yisrael, by Ava, in the second bracha of Kriyat Shema, he says, Velo Ya'ane Amen. Over there, he does not answer Amen. Why? Because it's a half sec between what and what? The Kriyat Shema. Okay? Don't answer Amen after Abu Kher, Damo Yisrael, Ba'ava. And that's why the Minagi is in all places. No one's cholek on this. To finish with the Chazan. Baruch Atah Hashem, Abu Kher, Damo Yisrael, Ba'ava. Baruch Atah Hashem. Oev Amo, Oev et Amo, Israel. To answer together with the Chazan, to say it. And then everyone says Shema together. And not to answer Amen. So let's summarize again. The Bacha of Yotzer O, we answer Amen. If you see the minag is not to, if you're in the shul, so you don't have to answer or answer quietly. But in the Bacha of Abu Khel, you try to finish together with the Chazan and you do not answer Amen over there because it makes a hefsek of Kriyat Shema. That's what's written over here. Ephemerot. Yafet. Okay. We'll go on a little bit more. Now we're going to go on to Siman Samech, Siman 60 in the Shulchan Aruch, Sif Aleph, Din Brachot Le Kriyat Shema, the Ein Tzrichim Kavana, we're talking about the Brachas of Kriyat Shema, and do you have to have Kavana? Do you have to have the right intention, or if you don't have the right intention, maybe not Yotze, you are Yotze. Let's see what it says here. It says in the Shulchan Aruch, based on the Gemara, Bracha Shniya Ahavat Olam, the second Bracha starts Ahavat Olam. Talking about in the morning. Ve'esh Omrim, Ahava Rabba, and some say to say Ahava Rabba. Vechen noagim b'chol Ashkenaz, and that's the minig by all of Ashkenaz to say Ahava Rabba. But we know that it's, that's not the minig in all of Ashkenaz. Maybe at the time of the Rama, 400 years ago, all of Ashkenaz were saying Ahavat Ahava Rabba. But today, the minag by most Hasidic communities to say Ahavat Olam, like the Sfaradim, like the Shochanach Paskins over here, they say Ahavat Olam. Okay. That's how it begins, the bracha. We don't, the, we know that the first bracha of Kriyat Shema, we start Baruch Atah Hashem, Elokein Melech HaOlam, Yotzer Or, Borech Oshech. The second bracha doesn't start Baruch Atah Hashem, Elokein Melech HaOlam, that you love us so much. No, we don't, we don't say that. We just start straight, Avat Olam Avtanu. Why don't we say it? It's called Bracha Smucha Lechavata. There's a halacha, then we have, we have two, Long brachas, when they're right, 
They're are you saying juxtapose. They're right next to each other, one after the other. Okay? So when they're one after the other, so the second one does not open with Baruch. Where do we find this again? By Asher Yatzar and the Lokai Neshama. The Allah is supposed to say Lokai Neshama right after Asher Yatzar, straight. And the Lokai Neshama does not start with Baruch because the Baruch of Asher Yatzar covers the beginning of Lokai Neshama. And every time you have two long brachot, okay? Every time you have two long brachot, so the second one does not open, open with Baruch, it just opens straight with the bracha, and that's why we don't have Baruch Ata Hashem by Ahava Avat Olam. Yafe Mod. Yafe. Say them. Alacha Bet. Kara Kriyat Shma Belo Bracha. Yatsai De Chovat Kriyat Shma. We said this already before. This is based on the, on the two. And also, Gmar Yerushalmi says this. And by the way, the reason why I mentioned the Mako, so Rabbi Nachman said, when you learn Shulchan Aruch, to learn the Be'er Gola. Every Shulchan Aruch has on the side a little book, a little tool, a little, uh, how do you say tool, a little uh, uh, thing on the side. It's called Be'er Gola. And there, the Be'er Gola, he brought down all the sources of where the Shulchan Aruch and the Ramah brought their stuff from. Because the Shulchan Aruch did not make up the stuff. It's either from Gemara or from the Rishonim. You have Mishnah, Gemara, Baisa, Rishonim. So the Rabbi Nachman says, to learn it with the Be'er Agola. When you mention Allah, to say the source. That's why I, I make sure to mention the source. I try every time. Okay, it's very simple. There's a little letter here. You see, Eva? There's an Aleph here. So that's an Aleph over here. Brachas, Yud Aleph. And tells you according to who. <laughs> And the second bracha is, the second halacha is, I'm sorry, that if you read Kirat Shema without saying the bracha, just saying Kirat Shema, you're Yotzv Kirat Shema. Meaning it's not, just like any other mitzvah. Any mitzvah you make, you're Yotzv the mitzvah without saying the bracha. You put on tefillin without making a bracha, you're Yotzv tefillin. You, uh, I don't know, Wait, which, which other mitzvahs? Huh? You wash your hands without saying a bracha. You washed your hands. It's fine. You washed your hands. Okay. Most brachas, you don't have to even if you, even without saying a bracha, you're yotze. You put on a talis without making a bracha. You're still yotze the mitzvah. It doesn't mean you don't have to make the bracha. You lit Hanukkah. We spoke about this already. Also Hanukkah. You lit the Hanukkah candles without saying a bracha. You still lit the Hanukkah candles. They're lit, right? They're lit. Okay. You're yotze. Very good. Well, you can't bless God without without like a birkat Amazon after the eating. You can't bless it without blessing. So that, then you have to bless. I'm sorry that you can't bless him without blessing him. So you just have to you have to say what it says. You have to thank Hashem. But Kriyat Shema, yeah. But what happens? Fine. So where is where is this halacha? Very very practical. A person is going to dive in a certain minion, especially on Shabbos, right? And it's starting very late. And that's the minion there is, or that's the minion he's going to, or there, right? Whatever. There's a mitzvah that Shabbos, so he's going, and they're starting at 9:30, or it's a Chabad minion. It's the only minion that's around. Right? And it's a very late minion, late minion. And you learned that there's a law that you have to say Kriyat Shema at a certain time. I can't dive in after, I can't say Kriyat Shema after that. So what should I do? Or you woke up very late because you were on duty, on, you were a guard somewhere, I don't know. And, and you see that, that, that you see they have five minutes to Kriyat Shema. And if you miss it, you missed it. There's nothing else to do. What do you do? You don't have to wait, oh, forget it. No, wash your hands, say Kriyat Shema. And when you... You dive and afterwards, you can say Kriyat Shema again. It's not an Avera. You let us say Kriyat Shema again with the brachas. But the point is to say that the Kriyat Shema is not, has nothing to do with the brachas. Even if you said the Kriyat Shema without the brachas, you still you say the Kriyat Shema. And that's what Shulchan Aruch says. Clearly, no doubts about it. No machloket about it. Yefemot. It's always better to say the Kriyat Shema with the brachas if you're able to. Yeah, and I'm not saying not to. But if you can see, like, there's a certain minion. Another thing is we, we mentioned before that there's two times for Kriyat Shema. There's a time of the Magen Avraham, which we calculate different the day. We divided the 12 hours of the day that we spoke about before, that you take from, from, from daylight until Tzedek Ochavim. You take that whole time and divide it to 12. And there's a time of the, the Vilna Gaon and Balatanya, which they take the day from Netzach Hama until the Shkia and divide that into 12. Usually there's about 40 minute difference. 
between them. It depends when. In the winter is less time difference. In, in the summer is longer days. So longer difference. Maybe an hour difference could be 50 minutes, 55 minute difference. So you have to, if you see that you're going to dive in a certain minute and they're going to, you're going to catch the second Kriyat Shema. But if you're going to say now Kriyat Shema, you're also going to catch it first. So say the Kriyat Shema. Even though you're going to catch it a second time. Why not catch according to all the shitas, according to all, to all the opinions? It's the oraita, it's a mitzvah the oraita. If you can do something which is according to everyone, easily, just say Kirat Shema now, before davening, so say it. Why miss out on the Magan Avram? It's better, it's the oraita, it's mitzvah the oraita, it's better to say Kirat Shema. When you get up, you see you're going to be late for shul or whatever, they're davening a late minion, say Kirat Shema, and afterwards you're going to daven with a minion. Who said that? That will be the halachas for today. And in Ritz Hashem, tomorrow we'll continue with the brachas. What happens if I do one bracha before the other? Or what happens if I did not have the right intention? Thank you.